welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about freelancing and how to go from zero to hero in freelancing. How to start freelancing if you are completely new to tech. So let's say a teacher or you work in retail or you're a stay-at-home parent like I was when I learned how to code and when I started freelancing. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks. I'm going to tell you what you can do if you are interested in freelancing in tech. So we're going to get right into it. I have some notes and some points that I wrote down just for you all. We will start with the first one. You need to choose a skill. You need to choose an in-demand skill. Um, within tech, there is so much that you can do. Like you don't have to learn how to code. Um, you can do sales, you can do marketing, you can do SEO or Google ads, um, that type of stuff. There's like so much you can do. If you have a background in education, you can do instructional design you can do so much and just do a little bit of research and then however if you are interested in completely changing your career and doing something completely different then I feel like the safest bet is to learn how to code you can easily start freelancing if you just learn the basics of at least one language i'm not going to tell you that you have to learn javascript and python and ruby and java and learn everything because it's impossible you can't learn every programming language if you learn the basics of let's just say for example web development because that's where i started so if you learn just the basics of html and css you can get jobs you can start free freelancing directly you can do email marketing website management website editing design web development on platforms like wordpress squarespace there's a lot of platforms users use or small businesses use to build websites that you can use html and css to further build out those websites so if you learn just html and css it's a great starting point then once you learn those two then you can move on and learn jobs JavaScript. I definitely recommend you learn at least HTML and CSS because that's really going to help you in anything you do because HTML and CSS can also help you if you're interested in doing marketing, if you're interested in doing email development, website management, or just in general. Just knowing a little bit of coding will really help you. So if you don't know where to start, just start there. Definitely start HTML, CSS. Once you have a skill and you've uh, um, studied, you've done either an online course, there's a lot of online free online courses. Let me know in the comments below if you all want an updated video on all the courses and resources available for free online. Um, I can definitely do that for you all. The next step is to build some type of portfolio you need to have something that gives you credibility that tells um a future client that you know what you're talking about and the best way to do that is to build a portfolio website let's say you're interested in becoming a website developer for wordpress and getting clients that are interested in getting websites on wordpress i recommend that you build your portfolio website with wordpress of course customize it using html and css make it look nice and then build maybe like two or three you know extra websites whether it be e-commerce landing page or some type of advertisement website and add those to your portfolio website have a contact page i have an entire video talking about what needs to go on your portfolio website i'll link that up here and i'll link it down below check out that video and definitely build a portfolio website you have to have a portfolio website the next thing that you need to do is put yourself out there i know a lot of the times um people ask me should i join upwork should i join freelancer should I join Fiverr which website is the best and honestly they're all great they're all good options but you need to use every single source to put yourself out there the more you are out there on all those platforms Fiverr Upwork and freelancer and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook and TikTok the more you're out there the more people will know about you the more you know when people look up okay I need a web developer or something people are looking Looking on all these platforms that's how I started I put myself out there I posted on Facebook on dev to on TikTok, on Twitter I think when I started TikTok wasn't even a thing <laughs> on Twitter on Instagram on all the social platforms I literally like 
made a post i said i am offering web developer services if anybody needs a website or if anybody needs help with like their presence online whether it be like websites or social media or anything i was just putting myself out there that i can do that and that's how i got my first clients just by putting myself out there on facebook instagram and twitter i got like my first five clients that way yes they were smaller clients yes they were like family members or friends of family members or friends of friends but then from that word of mouth I started getting more clients and more clients and then as I started building more projects started adding that to my resume I started talking more about my experience on Instagram and Facebook and all of these platforms and that's how I got bigger and bigger clients you have to start somewhere yes maybe your first client is gonna be your aunt that has a I don't know like a small little shop down the street yes but you always have to build off of your previous clients so learn from your first clients build off of that share your experience talk to others like you know tell them oh I recently built this website or I built this system or this email marketing system for so and so small business and that's how you're gonna get more clients and that's how you can start even when it comes to Fiverr or Upwork or freelancer you have to have something to show for it it's really difficult to get clients through Upwork and Fiverr and freelancer especially if you're completely new to tech or to freelancing because you have no credibility you have no previous clients and how are you gonna get previous clients you have to put yourself out there you have to reach out to small businesses in your area online with family and friends and once you get those first clients you can put that as references on Upwork on Fiverr on freelancer and that will even help you get clients on there the last tip that I have if you're interested in freelancing is to keep learning you have to keep learning you have to keep growing every time you have a client just keep learning from the experience be open to learning experiences I've had a lot of times when um, clients reach out to me and they say you know what like we want to hire you to build this out however it's in this you know technology or if it's in this language or it's in that or whatever and I don't know it or I have very like minimal knowledge I'll be straightforward with them and I'll tell them you know what I don't have 20 years experience with let's just say Tailwind however I have experience with JavaScript I have experience with React and CSS and I'm an extremely fast learner I'm a dedicated learner give me a week and I'll be up to speed with it and we can move forward with your project be open to doing that because at the end of the day if you're gonna be a free Freelancer, you have to be open to that if you're gonna be closed to learning and you are only gonna want to get clients that for example are doing only HTML CSS WordPress projects then that's all you're gonna be attracting and that's gonna be a limited pool but if you're open to learning and to growing your client pool is always going to be growing because as you learn more things through other clients then you can add more to your resume you can add more to your portfolio and that client pool just keeps growing and growing based on the skills that you have and what you can do and that is it those are the tips that I have for you all I know this video was really like broad and I just gave you kind of like a broad idea but I feel like it's a good starting point if you have any questions about freelancing let me know in the comments below I can make another video and I am more than happy to help thank you again for coming to my channel and don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one bye always takes too long yeah too long I ain't got all